so just finished up some quick editing um on a few videos that i'm going to be posting for you guys um very soon in the future uh, at the time i'm filming this video for you guys um i just had a meet uh this afternoon actually against lincoln sudbury uh we went to, it was in a way meet so it was at lincoln sudbury school um very nice uh team uh it was a nice course um a li uh, it was pretty well marked i would say um there were a few points where it was a little bit turny and twisty and i didn't have um it wasn't the greatest to get around um but overall very very nice course um not a ton of hills which can be good um i personally like hills but again um without the hills it makes it much faster um and uh, and there was uh, it's a great spectating area because you can basically see people um the entire way around uh so it's really really nice um it's a, it's also a loop course so you also knew what was coming when you went around for the second time of the loop it's about a mile and a half so it was pretty nice but yeah overall i really liked the course and um yeah i had a really fun time with my team i had a really fun time leaking them meeting meeting the lincoln sudbury team um it i i uh and yeah that's probably all i have to say for that um and i will be racing them one more time this season i was happy to ask uh, meet them and then the next time i race them i will most likely be at home so i think uh that will be fun uh it, if i race them another time this season which i think i will uh yeah guys so that's probably gonna do it up for that uh and let's jump straight to, into the video um one more thing before we get started um on this first meet, first Stony Brook meet recap, and uh, that actually the first Stony Brook meet recap I've had on the MRSR and Cup series which seems crazy. Um, I don't know if I've posted these videos for you guys, but I'm going to be doing intro video. I'm going to be on a podcast called The Teachers teacher as by host melissa milner some of you may have heard it before um if you're a teacher who works in reading mass um at reading in reading public schools you've probably heard it um i ton i think about 300 people listen to her podcast all every time if she comes out with a new one so a ton of people uh but yeah so basically i'm gonna be on the podcast and basically what she interviewed me about is she interviewed me um it will not be any video it will just be audio we did actually film it over zoom which is pretty cool um but she would just be using the audio from uh the zoom so again uh that you will not be able to see me on camera um but i will i will be doing be doing an intro video for it and i've already had that um basically ready to go at this point just gotta edit a little bit more um and yeah a little bit more editing but yeah so that's probably all i have to say for that um but basically i'm gonna be on the podcast and melissa um milner interviewed me um all uh, and melissa milner is a teacher at in reading mass which is why i say some of you reading mass teachers might have known her if you guys watch the channel um if my channel uh you if you guys probably listen to a podcast and found out about my channel maybe um when this video comes out it will be after the podcast and maybe some of you will have to find and maybe some of you have, have, will have found this channel um MR, michael roberts Tudor runs mrsr um runs uh but yeah so that's probably all i have to say for that um but basically melissa interviewed me all about um my running journey how i keep how how i keep my mental state of mind during training and racing um how i keep my mental state of mind how i keep a a, a, a positive and uh, accurate mental state of mind when under stress whether that be in running uh in racing whether it be in training running racing school anything um how i keep that um some special people in my life my family which mainly includes my dad my sister and my mom um and then my coach obviously uh he is someone who really inspires me and just many other things if, if when you it will come out on october 9th at it's october 4th time i'm filming this video for you guys it will be called um episode 69 zooming in on the journey with youth runner michael studer um i am super excited for it i hope you guys are super excited for it um and i really do hope you guys go over um to apple podcasts apple news or no sorry not apple news my bad uh apple Podcasts, spotify um google Podcasts, really anywhere you want you listen to your podcast you find your podcast you can search up the teacher as it will be episode 69 coming on, on october 9th 2022 um and at the time this video is being filmed for you guys i will come out in five days so right about a week from now um at the time this video is being filmed for you guys this tonight um when i'm filming this uh but yeah so it will come out in about five days i would say so right around a week um and yeah i am super excited for it and i really hope you guys are too so i would suggest going over to watch it wherever you find your podcast the teacher as is the name of the podcast episode 69 zooming in on the, zooming in on the journey with youth runner michael studer i hope to see you there hope you like it and if you've already and if you found this channel because of that podcast do leave um a like down do leave a like 
like on the video and uh, shoot me an email uh, slash comment over at MRSR channel comments at, at 11 at gmail.com. How you like the podcast? If you checked out any of the videos on the channel, how you like the channel? And I really hope you liked it. Uh, you guys, that's probably all I have to say for that. And let's jump straight into the video. Um, So for today, I had two runs today. Um, I had one easy mile in the morning to get my legs uh, loose and uh, untense and ready for the race. I also had obviously the race in the afternoon. Um, but we will be going. I will be going with you through with you guys uh, step by step. I will be starting off with the morning run and then I will be ending our, the morning run one mile um, that I had a little bit of trouble on. And then um, I will be ending off with the race uh, that I was pretty excited about. Um, I will share. The, I will save the results till afterward uh, till the race gets there. Uh, but yeah, so that's probably all I have to say for that. And let's jump straight into it. So let's start off with the mile um, this morning. So this morning, I woke up at 5.30. Obviously, as you guys know, my school starts an hour earlier now, which means instead of waking up at 6.30, I gotta get up at 5.30. It is a struggle, I have to say that. But once I finally got up, got everything packed for the night, got all my school stuff ready, lunch, breakfast, ready for when I get back to cook on immediately, um, I got my shoes on, got my sweatshirt on because it was a bit cold, chilly out, and then we headed out. So I'll start off with how my legs felt because uh, those are the main players in this run. So my legs felt jello. I, I felt like jello i have to say that um even during the race they felt a little bit tense but this morning my legs felt like jello they felt like they could barely move and again at 5 30 in the morning my dad even told me michael why are you why are you expecting for your legs to be moving at like race pace it's 5 30 in the morning you should not be expecting that and i kind of knew that from the and i should pro should have probably known that but um obviously when i'm getting ready for the race i am nervous i'm a little bit tense um tried to be as loose as i possibly could um but i'm not quite quite sorry quite thinking clearly i may not be quite thinking clearly right now either um but yeah so that's basically all i have to say for that other than that the legs felt pretty good today but yeah they felt like they couldn't really move at all i have a little bit i had a little bit of struggles with them but by the time the mile ended um luckily i think the mile definitely helped it got me looser got me more intense and i was definitely happy with it um and overall the legs felt pretty good other than that no pain just some soreness just some jello feet just uh, some so-called jello feeling um if you guys know what that feels like obviously it feels like um my legs were almost gonna like collapse to the ground at any moment um but no, luckily no pain just soreness and got over it got through it uh so that yeah that's probably all i have to say for my legs and let's move on to my breathing um, so my breathing this morning was actually really good. Um, I, again, I ran like an eight minute, I, I ran like an eight and a half minute mile, I think. Uh, so it was pretty slow by my standards for my paces. Um, but other than that, yeah, I think I am definitely um, happy with how my breathing was. Um, I think we, this morning, obviously, just the warm up mile, we wanted to keep my heart rate low. We wanted to keep it centered. We wanted to keep it controlled. And I think we did that as well as we possibly could. The heart rate stayed pretty low, I think. And once I redo the stats, you'll find out why. And yeah, I think overall I was very happy with it and um yeah that was pro that's probably all I have to say for that and um yeah the breathing went good and that's probably all I have to say for that and now let's move on to my stomach uh so my stomach this morning it did feel good I didn't have any problems with it um I made sure to do everything I had to do to make sure I didn't have any problems with it um my breakfast didn't my lunch dinner from the, from the previous night didn't come back on me um any of that stuff nothing of that nothing of that kind happened so that was good I'm happy with that definitely um but yeah other than that I think my stomach definitely felt good today and I am happy with how it felt uh the fact that it didn't blow up on me um and I made sure to do everything I possibly could in my power to make it not go that way um i didn't uh do i didn't i may have been risking some things before the run i'm not going to talk about that but, but uh, i may have been risking a little bit before the run but luckily nothing happened uh, i guess the luck was on my side today and yeah that was probably all i have to say for that um and now let's move on to what i was thinking um so the entire time during the run i was kind of thinking about the race i was kind of replaying in my mind um so i make a plan every single race and i was kind of replaying in my mind the plan i make with um the people i try Trust, obviously, as I told you guys in the pot in the uh, mini intro to go watch the podcast intro, which I think is already up on the channel. I will link it down in the description below if you guys haven't watched it yet. I think it's already up. If it's not, um, I will get it up as soon as possible. But yeah. Um so as I told you guys, uh, I I um I like pre uh, just a second ago, I do make a plan before every single race, and I was kind of replaying that race like pre-race plan in my head, kind of like how some people like rethink like step like phrases and goals. I was I was thinking phrases, I was thinking focuses for today's race. Um, I was definitely trying to keep myself calm. Um, I was definitely thinking of inspiring things that um people say to me that I can use to calm myself down, get myself composed. Um, and yeah, um, but and uh, that's probably all I just 
to say for that. My, my dad and me talked a lot. Um, he was a little, I think he was definitely a little bit worried about me just because I wasn't really talking. And you, he knows once I get, uh, once I, uh, if you guys don't know this about me, when I get soft and I don't really talk that much, it means I'm getting nervous. Um, so I definitely felt that way today. But luckily he noticed it. He helped me get through it. We got over it. And before I got on the bus to go to school, I was pretty happy. It was very, ha I was happy again. And I felt nothing of the kind. Uh, yeah, guys, so that's probably going to do it up for what I was thinking. And now let's get straight in from the pre-stats talk um, to the stats talk. So today it's 6.12 a.m. Um, we started the one-mile run, so as you guys can definitely tell, a lot, lot later than usual. But you get one mile. My dad woke me up 15 minutes later. 15 minutes were out later. If it had been anything longer, we would have woken up earlier. But a mile only takes about 10 minutes. It would be 12 minutes at most. So that's probably all I have to say for that. Um, distance was 1.26 miles. Time was 10.07.1. That's wrong. I started, uh, I stopped my, uh, for some reason my watch uh, caught like that last point. 26 that's wrong um it might have been a 10 it might have been a 10.07 uh point it might have been a 10.07.1 uh moving time but the mile was only like the mile pace was only like 803 so as you guys can tell those are definitely different calories i burned was 71 a little bit high but i think that's also because um i was worrying a little bit more about the race and that's kind of what raised the uh, calories a little bit heart rate as i was telling you guys my breathing 138 was the average heart rate 153 is the max some heart rate that's very very low for me which is good because we wanted to get the breathing under control and we did cadence was 187 spm um that's pretty good for me uh, a little bit low but again the legs felt like tired and jello and um it was and we were running slower today so uh by my standards so that's probably pretty average and then the ascent and descent or incline and decline don't listen to it incline was 203 feet decline was 206 feet i don't know where my watch gets these i don't know how it gets these but for some reason and my watch always gets the incline and the the, inc uh, the uh, incline and decline wrong. Um, but yeah, so that's probably all I have to say for that. Um, and then the lap now the map now to the lap or mile splits. Lap or mile one was seven fifty six point five two, and lap or mile two was two ten point six three. Lap or mile two, which was that last point two six, was two. 2 minutes 10 seconds point six three. um so as you guys can definitely tell um pretty slow there by my standards the 750, 756 mile not bad at all um i was pretty happy with that actually and i think the moving time was a little bit deceiving go check strava me and my dad's runs i will link both my mile this morning and my race down there um but i think strava will definitely clarify those things and overall i think the mile this morning went good um and i was happy with it i think i was just probably gonna do it up uh for this first half of the video and now let's move into the second half of the video, the most exciting half of the video, the race talk. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys through when I got on the bus, um, to when I did the course walks, to when I warmed up, to when I raced, to when I finished, to when we went home. Um, and that will end off the video. So basically, um, sorry, I just got a notification there. I just had to get it away from my phone. Um, basically what happened is, um, at about two o'clock when we got out of school, we waited till about 2.30 and got on the buses. On the bus, I, uh, did what I normally do. I watch YouTube. Um, I got I actually got a seat to myself, which I was pretty happy about. Normally on these buses, you didn't, uh, I wouldn't get a seat to myself. But luckily the boys and girls went separately. So I sat up front near the coaches. I got a seat to myself. I massaged and I watched, listened slash watched, to, watched YouTube. I say that because um, half the time, most of the time my phone was in my bag. Um, well, I, my track bag, well, my track bag has slash cross country bag while I was listening, while I was massaging. Um, so that's probably all I have to say for that. And uh, yes, yeah, so after that, um, once it was about a 40 minute drive to Lincoln Sudbury uh, Middle School, uh, Curtis Middle School. And then after that, once we got there, um, I took, uh, I put everything away, obviously. My mom was there, so she took my bags. Uh, she put my school bag back in the car, and then she took my track bag and brought it over to the starting line. We went inside the school. Um, we were, I was also chained before I got there, so that was good. Um, I, I just went to the bathroom really quick once I got inside the school. And then uh, we headed outside uh, to start the race, or to start the course walk, warm up, and then start the race the girls were going first day um so once we got outside we started the course walk um i had my i had my sweatshirt on um i didn't have my pants on i stripped those off earlier but um i had everything on that i could possibly need. i actually have pants on and sweatshirt on right now this is my outfit before the race um i had everything on 
like possibly needed um and then after that we did the course walk um we the, they showed us the loop um i was it was pretty uh easy to follow um some kids uh did get lost throughout the race um but luckily they were all able to find their way back to the uh, finish line um and yeah so it was pretty straightforward for me i was listening pretty carefully only because uh, as i i was i might be leading the race and um obviously as you guys know when you're leading the race you have no one else to follow um so i think i was one that was paying a lot of attention to this course walkthrough because i might be leading the race which i did end up doing um but after the course walkthrough um basically we ended uh, at the finish line slash starting line um and then which are about like 10 feet apart from each other. The starting line was like up a little bit further. The finish line was like 10 feet behind the starting line. But after that, the girls warmed up for like five minutes, which I thought was a bit odd that they only gave them five minutes to warm up. But after that, the girls ran um, and they did awesome. Once they came back, um, they did incredible. Um, our Stony Brook our girls team, I think they won. They might have won uh, the, the meet. I have no idea. Um, we did not win individually, which is sad, but still had a great performance. It was a super, super close race um and stony brook ultimately ended up getting silver or second place so that is it's um it second is there's no shame in second whatsoever um i can i i've been in that position before i felt the shame um i think definitely um when you're when you I feel like i think you definitely um from personal experience i think i definitely felt like i let people down there's no shame in letting anyone down with second place stony brook did incredible and was super good it was awesome today again it was hard to only warm for five minutes get very little time it was raining today so the conditions weren't optimal but stony brook did incredible the stony brook girls did incredible then the boys once the girls were running we started warming up um once again we i was surprised um at, sorry never mind uh, sorry, that was a thought that just came out of my head um but we started warming up and then once the girls finally ended um i talked to my mom a little bit had a few uh scratch lab energy chews if you guys want to go check those out link them down in the description below those are always my pre-race uh snack i have about two or three of them before the race just pop in my mouth they're great if you guys want to go uh, check them out i will link them down in the description below for you guys to go check them out um but after that uh basically what we did is uh we got on the starting line um they said ready set go there was actually a false start uh by a lot of us me included so we had to go back and they didn't really care because it's a middle it's um obviously it's official but like it's not too official so we went um we were at the starting line and then we had a full start. We all went back to the starting line. They said, ready, set, go again, and we were off. Uh, so now I'm gonna tell you guys basically um, the pre-stats talk about how the race went. Um, so once we got off, um, my legs started to feel uh, a bit sore. No, not even sore. Um, I think they were feeling a bit uh, tight. I think I just had to loosen them up a little bit. Um, they were definitely feeling um, like a bit of lactic, uh, like uh, some lactic acid in them. Um, I think that's just because they were a bit tense and sore from the fact that I didn't get too much warm up from today um but yeah Alright guys, that was my mom. She just wanted to uh, know she is posting uh, on Facebook about today's race. Uh, so it's all good. Um, I clarified everything with her. And now we can get straight back to the video. Um, so in the, uh, so as I left off with you guys, um, my legs were feeling a little bit tense, a little bit sore. Um, but overall, uh, I think they were feeling, they as the race went on, they definitely felt a little bit better throughout the race. Again, I get stronger as the race goes on. So I feel like for me, uh, it definitely helped that the race kept going um, for a mile and a half. Like if it was just like 100 meters, even 400 meters even mile um i think uh it would have definitely not benefited me as much um but since it was a mile and a half i think it's just enough time for me to get ready um and like get settled in um even a mile and a half is a bit a pretty short for me um because i run and three miles a day when there's no practice so i think a mile and a half is definitely a little bit short um but other than that i think the legs felt pretty good today um and i was pretty happy with it and overall once i finished the race all the soreness all the pain went away um not not sorry sorry i keep wearing using the word pain pain is not the right word um all the soreness and all the lactic acid went away um and spoiler alert i actually i did win the race for my team so i was pretty happy about that um but moving on let's talk about the breathing um so the breathing for today um i think as in any race um you're obviously going to be breathing pretty heavy because of the fact that you're running really hard i mean obviously when they're running 515 520 even five like even 530 miles and sometimes a little bit above or a little bit below um anything under um 530 miles you're going to be breathing pretty hard and it's just a known fact like 
you're I mean it's not gonna be easy so you're gonna have to breathe hard you're gonna have to breathe pretty hard um you're gonna have to you know work pretty hard to get up there and uh yeah that's probably I mean obviously my breathing um it wasn't uh terrible today and actually once I finished the race I was pleasantly surprised at how I wasn't really gasping for air too much that could mean because you know um I did I'm getting more efficient that could also mean because I didn't leave it all out there on the course um either way I have no idea but I'm pretty happy I'm very happy with my breathing today actually um it's one of the few weeks I didn't actually fall to the ground and I am very happy with it uh you guys that's probably all I have to say for my breathing and let's move on to how my stomach felt so my stomach today did feel good once again I went to the bathroom before we came out for the course walkthrough and everything else that happened in this race so that was good um I was definitely making sure that I paid close attention um to when to how my to how my stomach felt but other than that yeah I think my stomach definitely felt good um and I am pretty happy with it and uh yeah so that's all I have to say for that um, I thought the chews might affect me a little bit but they didn't which I was happy about so that was good um and the last thing I and the last thing I was going to say is um I my th uh, how I and the last thing I want to talk about in this pre stats talk is um how what I was thinking during the race I was kind of just telling myself like keep going keep going keep going get one step further get one step further you're almost there you're almost there um and definitely the encouragement from my Stony Rick team and even the Sudbury team definitely definitely helped with that um I was definitely cheered on by everyone and it definitely helped um with the fact that I needed that support to get to the finish line I think um I wouldn't have gotten to the finish line without the support um if it was just me it would have been a lot harder and um I knew that as long as I just got to that finish line I'd be set I'd be golden um and I was coming and I was in the lead but I couldn't tell how far back anyone was I wasn't able to look back so I was uh definitely just trying to tell myself self self motivate myself but the cheering definitely helped as well uh you guys that's probably all i have to say for that pre-stats talk and now let's move straight in um to the stats for today um, this video is running a little bit long, so I'm just trying to speed it up a little bit for you guys. Today at 4.29 p.m., we started the run. Distance was 1.5 miles. Time was 11.14.7. Um, pace was 7.29. Um, both the time and the pace were wrong. Um, the distance was actually right on point, 1.5 miles, so they're actually just on point with that. Um, the distance and the time are not at all right. If you guys want to go check Strava, as I suggest you do, they will clarify all that for you guys so go check it out down in the description below um i will link my strava run from this morning and this afternoon in the description below calories was 67 that is incredible for me as you guys know i only burned 71 today and that was only a mile i did a half mile more burned four less which shows the um the efficiency that i'm able to run with when i do run average heart rate was 124 bpm max heart rate was 151 max heart rate probably came at the beginning of the race but the average heart rate being 124 i started my watch early that's pretty solid for the fact that um that pro that's not i mean uh, strava i think that's pretty close um so i am pretty happy with that cadence completely off i don't know how my watch got this but my it says my cadence is 150 that's not right at all um go check strava for the correct cadence i have no idea why it has that but it's not right ascent and descent or incline and decline both wrong as i told you guys um before during during when we took the course walk there was barely any hills on this course the ascent and descent incline or decline don't listen but incline was 275 feet decline was 226 feet i don't understand where it gets it but it, it just does laps uh lap or mile splits now lap or mile one was 744.68 lap or my in the last lap or mile two the last point five um zero miles was 330.303 seconds um so as you guys can definitely tell um that meat went pretty good for me today um i think i think it went i think you could even make, make the argument that it went very good for me today um but i want to give a huge congratulations to all of my teammates if you guys want to go check out more of my run and my dad's run from today go check out the links in the description down in the description below and i'll be linking everything else i mentioned in this video down in the description below as well but i will be i want to give a huge huge shout out to my teammates um it, my whole Stony Brook team did incredible today. I was super happy for all of you. Um, and so did Lincoln Sudbury as well. Everyone did incredible today. It was super happy to see all the determination, all the grit, all the hard work that's been put into these last few weeks and even this almost la and even this almost last month. Um, and I am <clears throat> sorry. And I am super happy that um, I'm able to spend all these afternoons with my team at, at with my team at meets. And it's so much fun. So congratulations to everyone who ran today. Uh, you guys, so it's probably gonna wrap it up for today's MRSR 
Patreon video. If you guys want to go check out Strava, I will link those down links down in the description below. Go check them out. Scratch Labs, I will also link that link down in the description below. Um, if you guys want to go follow me on Instagram for different pictures, different posts that I don't post here on YouTube, I will also link that down in the description below, along with my comments section with the tutorial video, MRSR channel comments 11 at gmail.com. You got a comment, email me down there. There's also a link in a tutorial video if you want to know how to like my comments down there as well. Um, and other than that, I think that's probably, and if you guys want to go watch all the episodes or the most recent episode of the MRSR and Cut series, I will link all, both of them down in the description below, the most recent and all the episodes go to or you can go to michael robert shooter runs my youtube channel um you can go to the playlist section uh michael uh, mrsr and cut series and, and that will show every video of me mrsr and cut series i've posted and you guys can view them all right you guys this is probably gonna do it up for today's video i had so much fun today congratulations to stony brook lincoln sidbury and everyone who ran in this meet today and i had so much fun and um i will see you guys tomorrow have fun always run never give up your dreams know that hard work always comes eventually even even if not right away, trust the process. As my sweatshirt says, as you can see, it says trust the process. And peace out, guys. And uh, peace out, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Peace out.